Hi, it's Allison. I've been a math teacher for 15 years, and today I want to talk to you about parallel and perpendicular lines. You can use slope to determine if two lines are parallel or perpendicular to each other. So let's take a look. Parallel lines will have the same slope. They run parallel to each other and they won't ever intersect each other. So if you see two equations of lines, let's say we have y equals 2 thirds x minus 7 and y equals 2 thirds x plus 1 half. I can tell that these two lines are parallel to each other because they have the same slope. So for them to be parallel, the slope, their slopes have to be equal. It can't be different in sign. It has to be exactly the same number. Like I said, parallel lines will never intersect. Perpendicular lines intersect at a 90 degree angle, like this. So if you have one line that's horizontal and another line that's vertical, those two lines will be perpendicular to each other. Now, you can tell if two lines are perpendicular to each other also by looking at their slopes. So let's say we have the line y equals 2x plus 8 and y equals minus 1 half x plus 14. Now, if you want to determine if these two lines are perpendicular to each other, multiply their slopes together. The slope of my first line is 2. And I'm going to multiply that by the slope of my second line, which is minus 1 half. Now, I can rewrite 2 as 2 over 1. I'm going to do that just to make my multiplication a little easier. So what do I get here? I get negative 2 over 2, which is the same as negative 1. Because the product of these two slopes is negative 1, that means that these two lines are perpendicular to each other. If their product was any number except negative 1, they wouldn't be perpendicular. The product has to be negative 1 for them to be perpendicular to each other. Now, suppose you're given a slope. Let's say we have a line y equals 3x minus 1 half. And you're asked to find the slope of a line that's perpendicular to this line. It's actually pretty simple. What you do is you take the slope of the existing line and you find its negative reciprocal. That's not as hard as it sounds. To find a negative reciprocal, just change the sign and flip it, it upside down. So my slope here is 3. I'm going to rewrite that as 3 over 1. Now, if I want to find its negative reciprocal, I'm going to change the sign. This is positive, so I'm going to make it negative. And flip it upside down. So instead of 3 over 1, I have 1 over 3, or 1 third. So the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this line here will be negative one-third. Let's do one more. Let's say I have y equals negative four-fifths minus 17. And let's say I need to find the slope of a line that's perpendicular to this one. My slope here is the number multiplying x. It's negative four over five. So I want to find its negative reciprocal. So I change its sign and flip it upside down. It's negative, so I'm going to make it positive. And instead of 4 over 5, I'm going to have 5 over 4. So the slope of a line that is perpendicular to this line is 5 over 4. Thanks for learning with me today. If you'd like more information on any of the topics, click on the links below. And be sure to rate, comment, or subscribe to our channel. If you have a specific request, please send it to requests at mahalo.com. I'll see you next time.